I think this time we do go. We actually, why don't we go with some random a list of our time? Let's finish it up for a real quick second. Gotta let the man cook. Let the man cook a little bit. On the beat, I'm a sick little puppy who gets lucky when he speaks. Blessed with a silver tongue, chest with an iron lung, extraterrestrial tentacles, aliens, psychopathic tendencies, a pathologic entity. If everything is set in stone, then this is how it's meant to be. Elementary, dear Watson, you might find yourself inside the mind of the illest of our time. Get it popping, hot rocking. I'm Freddy Krueger, I'm chopping. I turn it up to 11, the demi golden of upping. The strangest thing, I'm the boss when the danger lingers. I'm plotting Sweet like a spoonful of sugar Because I'm merry like popping The double barrel is cocking A shotgun shell to the noggin I'm coughing Catchy bronchitis You're in your funeral coffin No stopping blocking me Not when I pick the world up I'm squatting And when I take from the rich I'm in your hood and I'm robbing Four, five, six, spit a crucifix, six, 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 flow, crucify a Catholic, maverick, anti-hero, villain, not protagonist, words are kind of muffled when you're sucking on my massive, uh. who's the fucking illest, who's the realest, who's the baddest kid, pull the police on this beat before I damage it, a kiddie called Screech, on the frozen, beat. I'm a masochist, so far from reach, I'm the type to kill a pacifist, catalyst, or chemical combustion, I'm the analyst of metaphors and similes and synonyms, and alchemist, evangelist, the words I seek like they're cancerous pragmatist Think I'm high as a fuck I'm high answer it pull up pull up pull up to the place when I pull it bang I pull it sang it shot right into space music for the hooligans let loose on the estate call the police and the riot bands the people wanna play hey freedom now has lost all meaning how can we all be free in a hierarchy breeding ground the poor get poor a while the rich get rich in style I'll be a heretic kill or king take his crown top of the throne top of the kingdom I own top of the streets that I roam top of the dome spitting for Britain I shown fast like a cellular phone I pin like Tyson an icon go twice in left right in I'm striking like I'm biting like a python ready I'm heavy I'm Mercury I am Freddy so eat my words fill your belly like alphabetty spaghetti I am a rap star don't believe me the facts are I spit fast like a mascot don't believe me then fuck your ass shit I don't feel so well do this <laughs> I don't feel so well. I'm sorry, Ren. Dude, it's taken me an hour just to get to the fucking the chat boxes. Forgive me. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can, and I can't get there. I can't get to the chat boxes, dude. I'm sleep deprived. I'm smoked out, loked out. I can't figure out how to get to the chat boxes. So anybody who's waiting on me. Bear with me. <clears throat> you day you would be correct. What's up, Lions Den? What's up, I am I am Rocksteady? What up, Holmes? What's up, everybody? Hold on, let me hop over to YouTube really quick. I'm sure that's been popping for a minute, but I'm half out of it. So hold on, let me uh let me find this real quick. Studio live stream. Where are you at? There we go. Oh shit, we got 71 viewers in here. How am I I'm supposed to keep up with 71 people? There we go. I'm supposed to keep up with 71 people? <laughs> this is gonna turn into a shit show. Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Hold on, I forgot something. No! Oh, hold on one second. I'm back. I'm back in action. So here's the deal. I couldn't really sleep, right? I try to do this thing. If I can't sleep, I take a bunch of melatonin, smoke a little bit of weed, you know, and if I can't sleep, what do I do? And I hang out with you guys. What's up, James? All the way from Japan. Hey, shout out to Japan. What's up, bold dread man? Not so much insomniac, ADM in the UK. Yeah, across the pond, I'm sure. Did you know the second the second most people who watch this channel are actually from the UK? It's very dope. Hold on one second. Cliff missed that laugh, though. What did I miss? What did I miss? Hold on. You can't see this on camera. YouTube doesn't allow it anymore.
All right, so now we can get in the zone. I figured I'd come on here, hang out with you guys. I'm thinking about <clears throat> maybe uh, I don't know. Do I accept? Do I do I do I accept? Do I accept some phone calls? Do I hop on a game? Do I just chat and say what's up? What do we do here? What's up, Anna? How are you doing, Cliff? You seen the Baltimore Bridge craziness going on? No, but I seen P Diddy. I seen P Diddy. Hey, Eminem was on to something with Kill. I'm telling you something. Go back, watch my Kill Shot reaction. What the fuck did I say to you guys? I gave you guys. I didn't say what happened. I said if Eminem's gonna know anything about Diddy, he would be the one to know. Because he's on the inside. He has connections. What's happening with Diddy, people inside the industry have known about for a long time. But there's just too many whistleblowers at this point. <clears throat> what happened? You listened to Montana of 300. Why bro get, got any... Wait, why bro not get any love? I've checked him out before, BP. Um, Montana of 300, we checked out a few times. He's dope. My hat's right here. My hat's right here. Just sitting right next to me. I'm just half out of it. I really don't give a shit right now. I, I really don't. My hair's fucked up. I, it is what it is. I, I wear the hat all the time. It's just kind of like my signature mark. <clears throat> but yeah, P. Diddy. He's on the run. That motherfucker took off. I think they... Uh, yeah, listen. I don't know. I guess it's got something to do. I'm not trying to spread rumors, but I mean, uh, there's sex trafficking. There's Rico. There's going to be a lot of things going down. And when, when Eminem said that about, you know, the day you get a hit is the, the, the day that Diddy admit, admit that he put out the hit that got Pac killed. But he didn't say killed. He goes, kill. Ah! Like he stops himself. From like even legal reasons, like not defamation of character, because he knew like down the line this shit probably is going to come to light and end up in court. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> What's up with badass Benzino? I don't know. I what, what last time I seen him, he was stealing a sign, <laughs> stealing a sign and throwing out some mom spaghetti that he probably needed to eat. Cash is kings. What's good, my G? Your eyes look tired as fuck, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little cooked right now. I'm just, I'm just chilling. Did he hating that he's trending? Right? He's trending in the wrong direction, D. See you later time to get fobbed off by another doctor. Yeah, that's the medical system right now. I'm sorry about that. That M line was uh, profetic <laughs> as fuck. I mean, everyone's going to have a different, you know. Yeah, he, he does. Eminem, he predicts a lot of shit, dude. If you pay attention, Eminem predicts a lot of shit that ends up happening in the rap game. Hey, Cliff, buddy, do Royce Funk Flex for once. I think I did. What do you mean? Oh, I did LA Lakers, I think is what I did. Cooked beats. Now we're talking. That badass pick at Mom Spaghetti. It was kind of weird. I felt like he was taking pictures as if it was his restaurant. Like, he built it. Like, does he... Is he that delusional that he thinks the clout between him and M, like, does he think that clout really gave Eminem that success? That's my question. Like, is he, but in my mind, he's somebody that would be that delusional to be like, oh, yeah, this dude only has success because of me and my name. He took out my magazine, which made him famous. He might think that way. I really don't even want to talk about the guy. Because here's the thing, I was offered to do interviews with him. And I said no, straight out no, because I'm not going to sit here and have this dude scream in my ear for 10 minutes to an hour. Like, I can't do it. I can't, I can't listen to a 60-year-old man throw a tantrum like a 7-year-old. You know. And I'm the one with all the ghost fucking writer footage. I got all the footage. So I could, I could honestly go live with him and then just play it. And, like, make him look like a complete idiot. But I would People with the tendencies to act this way will eventually self-destruct. Why do you think Eminem gives no fucks? Nobody gives a fuck any minute, anymore. And people who were reviewing it, watching it, they were all interested too. And I'm sure some reaction channels also did it for the views. Uh, I'm not, let's keep it a buck. 
you know, people make money the more views they get. But I was on top of it because I hate the motherfucker. And I just, hmm. I, you know, in the beginning, I really didn't care. It's that when his, cha- when his company, which is who represents Cassidy, when they started gunning for my channel, that's when I took offense. When they, so it got so bad. They threw so many copyright strikes and restrictions on my videos that the company I work with had to go and say, hey, if you throw one more, we're basically going to take you to court for f- calling uh, uh, false claims. So what they did, they did some petty shit. They went like behind our backs and they took down the video of me and my girl, the, the full three hour podcast. Um, so I had to go through the YouTube the YouTube court system to get the video back. That's back up and running. I just got it back yesterday. But yeah. I'm just playing Diddy. You know I love you. Yeah, you know, I'll keep it a buck. When? Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Let me do a little bit of Inspector Gadget Cliff here. When did the Marshall Mathers LP drop? May of tw- May 23 of 2000. Think about that. As your last album, possibly, let's keep it a buck. As your last album, why not drop it 25 years later, well, 24 years later, on the date? May 23rd. What's, what is, what's May 23rd this year? Hold on. It would have to be a fucking Friday. He's going to do it on a weird Friday fucking at midnight type shit. I know I can feel it in my bones, dude. I, I feel it in my bones. I can't get to my, I can't access my calendar. It's right here in my face. And I can't even see it. The 23rd is a Thursday. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I, I thought it would be March, but I, now I don't think it's going to be March. I really don't think it's going to be March. I did not see the Baltimore Bridge collapse. I, guys, I was in the studio all night. Then I came home and I uh, tried to go to sleep and I couldn't. So here I am hanging out with you guys. I thought about playing some games, getting scared from some ghosts. I thought about, you know, just taking some phone calls, chopping it up. I don't know. I'm high as shit, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. <laughs> I just wanted to hang out and say what's up. Uh, what's up, straight up? Just woke up to see Cliff online. Pleasant surprise. They just lash out in frustration, anger, and dig their own graves. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That's what happens. Hey, Cliff, you should check out Young Doll Sunshine um, or just more Memphis-based rappers, Little White. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I come on here bumping Little White all the time, man. And uh, shout out to Dolph. It's speaking about the same Dolph, R.I.P. Um, oh, we need some love probably struggling out here. I hear you, man. I'm trying to get to as many reactions as I possibly can. I am. I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, he, see, he, here's here's the thing. Okay. The way I see it, once an artist finishes a project, right, you had the Jimmy Kimmel thing. He gave Jimmy – it's all a ploy. They knew what they were doing. They gave Jimmy Kimmel the okay to say, hey, and we're going to do a little skit with you too in the meantime. Dre, that means Eminem is in L.A. probably finishing up the like the mastering and the mixing of the entire track and Dre got to listen to it right there on the spot. Who knows who else was in that room with them? That's when it when when more ears get to, when more people get their ears on a project, the sooner it has to release. So it would make me think sooner than later. Unless it was just him and fucking Dre. Nobody knows really Paul. Nobody knows. We're just randomly fucking talking about shit. I just watched some horrible movie on on, uh, Netflix. I highly suggest it on the line or you're on the line or some shit with Mel Gibson, which was disappointing. I thought it would be good because Mel Gibson used to be a fucking Braveheart. Braveheart. The movie any man can cry in. If you're, listen, I know men get a lot of shit when they cry or when they get emotional, but listen, you watch Braveheart. You're allowed to cry as many times as you want. Freedom! I mean, dude, come on. You shed a tear if you have a heart. William Wallace, he was betrayed. 
But I'm saying that is the movie you can cry. Patriot, Patriot's another one. But at the end, you got a nice battle. I feel like it balances out. But there's some moments in there you kind of want to have some, 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 some cries. You want to let out some manly growls. But yeah, Braveheart is the number one movie where if you if a man's allowed to cry, it's Braveheart. Humans cry. That's true. Mel Gibson used to be a lot of things. That's, that's an underrated comment, Jimmy. I appreciate that. Yeah, but Braveheart's one of my favorite movies, hands down. It is. Can I react to Playboy the Beast, Tom McDonald this? Nah, I mean, look, honestly, dude, I'm kind of past the dissing season. I just did a... The last one I just did was... Look, if I'm going to react to a diss... <clears throat> It's got to be something that, like, it, it's got to be something magnificent. Now, I know I reacted to the Benzino disc, right? But I had to hear it. I had to know what this fucker had to say after 20 years. He put out one disc, and I was like, eh, you had one good bar. It, it was one good bar. I'll give him that. The entire, tra the whole entire track was trash. And he had help with the first one. He had one good bar. He says square wouldn't even circle the block for proof. And then the second one, as soon as I heard his cadences, dude, I could tell by the mixing and mastering from the punching in of like, an, I can tell an engineer's skill level by just by listening to the reverb and listening to the punch-ins. If you pay attention to punch-ins and how things are just smoothly transitioned, I, as soon as I heard it, I'm like, oh, okay, this beat, this beat's nasty. It's working. And then... I start listening to him delivering his bars, and I'm like, how does he know to deliver like that? Like, that's not real. Like, I know Benzino's music all the way back to 2003. Sad to say, I know. This is when I was nerdy with it. Now I don't study music. You know, it's just, I'm, just, I'm in it. I just don't study it anymore. He's never known how to properly, like, land in a pocket and deliver a punchline crisp and all of a sudden it's just back to back to back to back to back and everything's cleaned up you hear no <gasps> you hear no extra breaths in between the bars being spit so the punchins are so crisp and clean so it means a professional engineer worked on it or somebody who's been engineering for a while but now I know everything about it. It doesn't matter. But as soon as I heard it, I was like, nope, I got to see this. And I was like, Ghost Rider instantly. And I started listening to it. And I had a few people in mind. And then a phone call confirmed it. But I don't want to relive the past. What else are we going to do over here? You want to talk about ghosts or something? What's up? We think aliens are real? Are they in the ocean? Are they in the sky? What's happening? I just know I'm way too high. Official. Cliff Beats Official. Can you explain to me what is a pocket i've been trying to understand that since i started watching reactions um they're kind of hard to explain uh i'm sure you're familiar with the term bars right some music teacher out here is going to correct me but i don't see i see music in a different way everyone does so i see music almost in colors and gaps and pockets and what I mean by that is I can hear where a rhyme pattern can fit and one cannot. How many I can hear how many syllables should be fitting inside of we'll say okay it's a four bar four bar pocket. I know how many syllables should be sitting inside of that. You know, or if you're going to drag other syllables out, it, there's different things you could do. It's just way too much for me to explain with my high brain right now. But a, a music teacher can go explain it much better on YouTube right now. But I see it in colors. It, it, it's basically just you're finding these flow patterns and you're just – it's like riding a wave. And you're able to just stay on track with the beat. Then you have others who tattoo the beat. Where, like, with the percussion, it's just tick, 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 tick. Like where your voice becomes the percussion. Um, your, your flow patterns – Create those pockets. People can be inside the pockets. They can ride on the outside of the pockets. They can do a lot of different things. Um, it, it, it's just clever wordplay and, and being a wordsmith. But again, I look at music differently. I don't, again, see, this is hard for me to explain. I don't study music. I do not, I never studied music. All I did was just do music. And how I can explain it is I see it and I hear it in colors. Like I see it in colors. And when I listen to music, like, so when you see me close my eyes during a reaction, I'm seeing the colors. 
when I'm just listening, I'm listening to the gaps and where I would put things or where things should be. Um, it's just different for everybody. But then you have other people out there who study the music to a fucking T. They know every fucking syllabic placement to the fucking bar set up. And I, I, I don't like to get that intricate into it. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I should probably do it, but I don't like it. It just, it takes away from it just being authentic. Because then it becomes like too robotic. If you become too robotic in the music, you like, you don't sound right. There's a few artists who've done that recently. There you go. Well, kind of, yeah. Forms of synchronizing syllables through the beat. It's all patterns, in my opinion. It's, it's, that's all it is. It's patterns. I can't really explain it with my high brain right now. <clears throat> the pocket is like playing a sport sometimes. You and other teammates don't always have to have to say exactly what you're going to do, but you move as one, the pocket kind of. That's an interesting way to look at it. The middle guy reacts. All right. <clears throat> no, real music is music you literally feel. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you notice, like, artists who really study the music, it kind of comes off a little bit, like, generic. It almost, like, keeping up with the Joneses. It sounds cookie cutter when people who, like, just stick to the metronome who are constantly just being perfectly on beat, not taking any risks. Um... There's things you could do to get away from that. I don't know why I keep doing the metronome here. I don't know why I'm doing the metronome with my thumbs. Uh, again, that's just my way of going about it. Hold on. This is round two of Smoke for Cliff Beast. Bring me some more questions. What else do we got? Let's go. Okay, deep dive. Oh. For, for those who didn't see it, you guys see that artwork that my boy sent me, Opie? Yo, I got to I gotta show this off one more time really quick, man. This shit was so dope. Hold on. Yeah, I'll be this. For those who didn't see this yet, my boy sent this to me. <clears throat> I've had this everywhere all over my Instagram and shit, but my boy made this and sent this for me uh, the other day. And this thing is amazing, man. It says Cliff Beats, obviously. Here's the C with the headphones. Me and my socks hat, the ghost for the ghost rider, going all the way to the boom box. You got the city. And one thing I didn't notice, I mentioned in my videos about when I was a kid, we didn't like play at basketball courts. We would cut open the bottom of the crates and we would sh play hoops, you know, with shooting into basketball crates. We'd nail them up, you know, to light poles and shit. But he's got my watch, the chain on. He's got the bong out. I mean, this is probably one of the dopest pieces of work I've seen. I might be a little bit biased because it's mine. No. But I got I to gotta get like an art easel and like put it right here. So when I'm done with my videos, like so, for example... When I do a video, this is right here, right? Then when I'm done, boom, it'll be sitting right next to me. But that's also going to be where I have my guests, which I will get into more. I'm stuck. I'll get into more later with, uh, with, the, uh, with the guests. I have some special guests coming in. I have some things planned for July and August for you guys. Um. <clears throat> I'll tell you this, a little insider secret. I'm going to be battling somebody. I'm not, uh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to be battling somebody live on the internet. That's all I'm going to say. That's all you need to know. It'll be happening in July or, uh, July or August. Live battle. <clears throat> It'll be announced. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can't even, he said joust or duel. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be. I'm just saying I'm battling. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm battling. All right. So just let me get more of the details for July and August and I'll get back to you on that. All right. <clears throat> me versus Knox Hill, who wins in a hugging contest. I don't know. I feel like Knox Hill's probably got longer arms. I'm stockier. It might take me a little bit longer for someone to wrap their arms around me. 
Knox. I don't know if we're the same height. I don't know how tall Knox is. I know we're like the same age. All of us are pretty much around the same age. But I don't know. I don't know how tall he is. Yo, Knox kills shit. That track with King Crooked is gas. It is. It's definitely fire, man. Knox is special, dude. When when me and Knox started talking, um, so he, here's the crazy thing. I'll tell you the story really quick. For those who don't care, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go through it really quick. Dude, when I started this channel, I didn't know any other reactors existed. I take that back. I knew one person who was. I didn't know the term. I knew somebody who would watch Eminem content. Or I've seen one, like, a 20 minutes, like, 15 minutes of, 10, 10 to 15 minutes of a video. And it turns out it was No Life Shack. And this is back in, like, 2017, 2018. I went to go click on an Eminem video. And I accidentally clicked on No Life Shack, who I didn't know at the time. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? What is this? Like, where's the song at? And I'm watching this dude who's, like, walking around going, like, well, well, well. And I'm like, what the fuck? Well, 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 what? Well. Like, what do you do? Can I see the song? I was like talking to the phone and uh, eventually I was like, okay, I'm just going to go watch the video. I watched the video fast forward um, five years later, six years later, um, COVID happened. I got really sick. I was laying in bed and uh, I started making videos. All right. So then I'm making videos. I want to leave something behind so I could break down some old Eminem tracks. I was going to do, I had a plan. I was going to do Eminem, then I was going to do Nas, then I was going to go do Jay-Z. I had a whole little thing where I was going to pay homage to like old school rap because I thought if I'm going to go out, I want to talk about music that I grew up on that I love. So the channel blew up fairly quick, right? And people kept telling me, they were like, hey, like, um, you're just like uh, Knox. You're just like Knox. You know, uh, you and Knox, uh, you you and Knox should battle. Um, uh, he was talking shit about you. Like people were like starting to like say that Knox was attacking me. That we were very similar. I kept getting weird messages about this guy named Knox, and I'm like, I don't I don't know who the fuck that is. I was like, I don't know who that is. I don't know who anybody is. Come to find out, there's thousands of fucking channels out here in 2021, and I'm like, holy shit, I didn't know there was a whole goddamn community. <clears throat> so anyways uh i didn't really have an i did a few reactions to Knox's music and i was like he's dope i had a few uh, critiques for him um and then one day I, I think it was when i was fighting youtube he hit me up about copyright strikes and we started talking a bit we talked about like the synergy between like you know the people that watch each other you know his his subscribers and people who watch me and we just hit it off man and then uh, once they try to take my channel out, you know, me, AR, and BP, or me, AR, and that singer got, you know, worked together. Um, and then I brought Knox in, and then BP, or then AR brought BP in. And we've all just been really close ever since. But the whole thing was, like, people wanted me to, like, battle Knox or, like, fight Knox. It was fucking weird, like, trying to pit me against Knox. And we just laughed at it, like, what the fuck are they talking about? Why are people trying to get us to go against each other? I think they wanted to see some white on white crime, but uh, no, we're nothing alike. We're nothing alike, man. We're we're, we're uh, <laughs> you're gonna see in the podcast that releases uh, in the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> Jessica said, "You and Knox are nothing alike." I mean, he's cute, talented white guy who does great music, and you're okay. I get it now. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. I'll take the okay. It's all right. I'm a taken man anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no boxing fight. No, there will be a battle in July or August. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not giving away more. I'm not giving away more. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. But that's the story about that. That was that was an interesting one. We were so confused why, like, people were trying to pit each other against, like, pit us against each other. We didn't know what that was about because we never spoke before. All I did was react to his music, and then he reached out when he seen me fighting YouTube, and then, you know, we all just clicked up. And there's one like weird thing too around the reaction community, like, oh, like we're the Avengers. We don't talk to anybody else. We're out against other people. We're not. I we all do our own thing. We just look out for one another and like support each other as much as we possibly can. I mean, we also support other reactors too, you know, 
Like I, I've helped so many other channels like who are dealing with copyright strikes and stuff. Like I'm on great terms with tons of people. There's just a select few that are just like channels that are designed to specifically hate other channels, which I don't really understand. But I guess it's like the troll movement. Like people feed off that shit and like they want to see like chaos. Which I don't know why you'd want that in your life unless you are mentally disturbed. But uh, yeah, man, I'm here to just support artists and get high as fuck with you guys and hang out. I rarely smoke just when I can't sleep. So, hey, what's up, WKL? Uh, love the content. Keep doing you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting because, like, look, here, here's the thing. is like, not, Knox has put me on game with a lot of things, too. He's been on this platform for, like, 14 years. Almost 15 years, right? I just started three years ago. So he he was able to help me out and understand a lot about this that I I wouldn't have known. And I'm glad that, you know, I got to, you know, I, I, I get to call him a friend. My boo thing, which people try to clip and say it's gay, but it's a joke. It's an inside joke because people call this gay. So we were like, all right, I'm going to just start calling you my boo. It was just honestly a fucking joke. And then Ren is also the boo. Ren is the third boo. We all cheat on each other with Ren because Ren is Thomas Shelby. <laughs> it's all a fucking joke, dude. People just take it too seriously. It's just people who aren't comfortable with their own sexuality, I guess. I don't know. Can't wait for M to drop Kamikaze 2.0. I don't think it's going to be Kamikaze 2.0. It's, it's going to be the Slim Shady 2. It's going to be the Slim Shady 2. Mark my words. Man's bet. Man's bet. Slim Shady 2. Slim Shady 2. That's what we're going to get. What happened? Cliff and Adam battle for Apple. Apple schnapps. Apple schnapps. <laughs> what? What's up, Fairy Nymph? Yes, Ren. Everyone loves Ren. Everyone loves Ren. You know what grinds my gears? What's up, the player scrub? What grinds your working with Fabio right now? Who is Fabio? Is Fabio a, a company or something? I don't know what Fabio is. I'm sorry you got to work with Fabio. But it sounded like Fabio. Fabio was a gorgeous man. Gorgeous man. Hulk man. Whatever happened to Fabio? Is he still alive? I swear to God, I remember being a kid and like going through the book section and just seeing just books and books of Fabio. This dude with blonde hair just jacked out of his mind wearing like a white button up hat button up. Fuck what happened to Fabio? The model? Yeah, the dude. The dude with the nice hair. You think the I don't know what you want to call him, man. He was like the 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 everyone like wanted him in like the 90s. Someone said the piano guy. He died? No. What's up, Pete? Hey, thank you so much, my friend. Don't forget, no uh no donations are necessary. No donations are necessary. But thank you so much, Pete. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I've got you got a bad headache, eh? I'm sorry. I hope my mic isn't bothering you too much. I've been uh ever since I had a Zoom call, it's been a little bit off, so I'm working on it. I'm I'm working on trying to get it back to where it was at before. Um it's not Fabio, it's Fabio, like Fabio. I, yeah, okay. I hear you. I don't know what that means though. Hair like Michael Bolton with curls. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny uh bitter betty podcast hey cliff kind of new to your live think this is the first i've made it to thank you bitter betty podcast uh i'm just i'm so sorry this is the first live you ever went to this is where i am high as a fucking kite but i'm just enjoying myself hanging with everybody answering questions so like, off to the side, right, I got a gaming channel. We, we do fairly well. It's not, like, super successful, but it's fun. Um, I'm actually not too bad at some video. But there's this one game called Phasmophobia where it scares the ever-living shit out of me. I try to act like it doesn't, but it scares the ever-living shit out of me. And over the winter, I would hop on and play it, like, this time, 3 o'clock in the morning, and you got to hunt ghosts. Dude... <laughs> that game had me so fucked up so i was like laying in bed i couldn't sleep i was like all right i'm gonna go live i want to see where my insomniacs are at what they want to talk about they want to see me scream at ghosts or if they just want to talk so i'm down for whatever man you're whack all right thank you nate w i appreciate you 
Cal Scrubby. Oh, is that the name of the song? Cal Scrubby, you're whack. Oh, the mic's not bugging you? All right. I, I try to put a limiter and a gain around it to make sure it wasn't that bad. So this is my first live stream also and also high as fuck. <laughs> We're sharing this moment together right now. Uh, Nif Radil. Nif Radil. We are sharing this moment together. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, Landon Queen? No donations are necessary. Um, will you do a live reaction to Lil Dicky Lion King? If not, it's all right, especially if it's already got lined up. So here's the thing. I did a reaction to the Little Dicky Lion King. But you know what YouTube did? They gave me a copyright strike and took the video away. I'm so sorry, man. This is why I'm always like, be careful with donations through like the chat system, because on, on PayPal I could pay you back. Um, but I did that and it was a very good track. But thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate you. Nate W, I love you, bro. LOL. No, watch Captain America by Cal. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll be checking out some more Cal Scrubby and stuff. Right now, I'm in no condition to do any fucking bar breakdowns. Um, this isn't a live donation request or anything. This is just me hanging out with my insomniacs. You guys got questions? Anybody want to talk to me? Can I set up people where people can come out here and talk to me? Like a podcast type thing? Hold on. Can I do that? Maybe I can't. Shit. Huh. Oh, no, I can't because I went live on the wrong fucking thing. There, there's two different. I got some shit up on my lip, bitch. Um, <laughs> there's a different thing I got to use for restream, so my bad. I, dude, I would hop on here and here's one thing you're going to see from me. All right. You're going to see me doing more podcasts. Like I said, so you got a podcast with me, Knox, Anthony Ray, Black Pegasus, Testing and Reactions. That's launching in April, right? Cliff Notes is coming back as well. But on Cliff Notes, instead of me just talking for two hours by myself, I'm going to have guests. I'm going to start having guests on. Um, I've already got quite a few lined up. Um, and yeah, man, uh, most, of them are, most of them are musicians. So, but it's going to be about mental health and other shit like that too. You know, it's just going to be people chopping it up. It's not going to be too polished. I'm trying to keep things from getting polished. Because if you noticed... YouTube is steering this like this ship this way of like bringing like TV to YouTube like what used to be on TV to YouTube with all the censoring it's just it's it's fucking weird if we if we wanted TV we would just watch TV so why turn a platform that was once one thing into an old thing like you're ruining it it makes no fucking sense what happened Cliff gonna shout Lucas, get your arse to school now. Lucas! I'm going to say it my way. Lucas, get your ass to school now. Time to get to school. That's coming from Lou. Get to school. I had to get serious. Guests in the Raw will be tight, bro. What? Guests in the Raw will be tight. Oh, you're saying, yeah, during the, uh, yeah, see, that's the thing, man. Um, this may hinder my career or whatever with social media, but or not career, I don't know, hobby, but what, what do you want to call this? Everything that I do is unedited, but, unless I do a special video where I'm trying to like be factual. Everything is unedited, it's unscripted, it's, it's off the top, it's off the cuff. A lot of people that like want to work with me, they want to do a lot of edited work and like behind the scenes and clean things up and I'm like, eh. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like it doesn't it doesn't turn me on it doesn't get the juices flowing i like being off the cuff i like not knowing what's next the uncertainty is what's fun you learn when you're fucking uncomfortable if i'm sitting here and it's like i'm talking to you but behind you by i actually have like cue cards and shit which a lot of people do you'll see them going like this and they'll be reading something right here but it's like right behind you so they can look right here but still see it like above the camera I can't do shit like that. I can't do it. I can't do it. They've already told me like the tricks to the trade. And I'm like, I can't do it. <clears throat> What's up, Wallflower? What's up, Bulge Red Man? Smoke every day keeps the doctors away. <laughs> no, not too much smoke. Um, you day YouTube is much faster. Even the chat moves fast. Yeah, a little bit. 
What's up, uh, Execution? How you doing? Cliff neglecting his Twitch chat feels bad, man. No, I'm not. I, I step away for a moment because Twitch goes dead. And I start reading YouTube because it's going fast. <laughs> Everybody accuses me of leaving Twitch behind. I fucking love Twitch. You understand that YouTube is moving a hell of a lot faster than Twitch is. But I'm still right here. Every time I look away for like five minutes and I go back, someone leaves a comment like, neglecting Twitch. Never neglecting anything. Back up. Why is that Ric Flair going, woo? What are you doing? If you play the stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, Twitch is a bit earlier than YouTube, though. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Adam Jones, everything is molded for the masses now. What happened to spont spontaneity? That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't, I cannot do the, hi, this is Cliff Beats coming at you next with my video. I truly hope you enjoy, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm going to sit here and be like, hmm, ha, ah, that's very interesting. Because in 1966, like, I can't, I can't do that shit. It's fake as fuck, dude. Or even like the, what's up, guys? I'm here with the, yeah, I am coming with you, this, and we crack a shitty joke over here, and then we jump into the video. Cutscene, like, it's just fucking lame. But that's my point. I'm not hating on anybody who does that, or I'm not taking any jabs at anybody in particular, because I don't watch anybody else's content. I just, it's not my style. I can't do it that way. It's just, but, it, dude, it's just like Harry Mack with how he raps off the top of the dome. He prefers to rap that way. I prefer to make content by just turning my fucking camera on and going, let's get this shit going in this bitch. Like, let's get this shit up and running. I should laugh. Like, <laughs> no, that would be legit awful. That's what I'm saying, Jessica. I, I, can't, I can't do that, man. You get the real me. You know how many people have come on here? And they have, like, just crucified me, like, called me, like, wigger. Um, you fake you're from the hood. You talk with an accent. Like, yeah, dude, I'm from the south side of Chicago. I sound like I'm from the south side of Chicago. What are you talking about? Like, I, I am my environment. I don't know how I sound. Besides how I sound to me is normal. So I'm, I don't know. If, if if I hear someone from Boston and they're like, are you a fucking cop? You fucking cop? I'm not like, hey, you sound like a fucking white Irish cop. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is up with that? I don't know. You got some crazy shit going on, man. The internet is not a place to be messing around. You get death threats. You got people coming after you. You got to fight their own system. You got to you gotta balance four different platforms. You got to deal with people who try to steal your content. You got... Others who want to run your name through the mud that don't even fucking know you or you don't even know them and there's been no correlation or correspondence between either one of you. It's weird. It's weird. And like, I never... In this, uh... This entire time with this channel, I can't recall one time, like, I went and I attacked somebody. Like, can you remember a time where I went and did a press run off of somebody's name? Like dogging them besides not benzino doesn't count that that's that's he's not a human being it's a cockroach i mean like off another content creator i don't do that but for some reason i have people who are like my i don't like my stands dude if, if i show you my mentions right now and how many people tag me in videos and they just talk shit to me and i don't even know who they are I have I have no correlation with them whatsoever. I don't even I don't remember speaking to them. I never I, I don't I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I sound like a southerner, I know I do. Not dumb like people think us. No, because when you hear people from the south, you'll be like, okay then yeah, I can't even do it right now, god damn it. Where's my south at? My southern voice at, hold on, I'm high as shit. I got to find it. I got to find it. I got to find it. My family's from the south. They're from Republic. Well, they're from Tennessee, uh, kind of on the outskirts of Nashville. That's where we had our family reunions. But also, I spent my time in Republic, Missouri. But, yeah, like, when you deal with people from the south, like, it's a little bit different. It's like they, they just have, like, more of a a draw, you know. But then you have some people that, like, but ding, 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 ding. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay there, buddy. Let me take you downtown and show you what it's really like. You know, I don't I don't like when people try to like 
make fun of it that way either. I mean, that does exist, you know, but most people in the South actually have like a beautiful accent. I, I think I like some of the draw, like shit. Some of the prettiest girls I've ever met were in Republic, Missouri, the smallest town in fucking <laughs> in Missouri in general. I mean, the towns, this the, the the state is Missouri, aka misery. You're in misery when you're there. I think the population limit was like three thousand people in the town when I used to hang out there, maybe less. But yeah. I used to go to the pool when I was a little kid, and I was like, damn, dude, like, I got, fuck, I'm in the pool in Chicago, and it's ratchet as shit. I need to go to the pool some more over here in Missouri. Hold on. Um, we're taking a brief intermission break where you wash the back of my head for a second. And yeah, don't worry. You're still gonna get content. I'll, I'll be dropping content. If you noticed, I've been uh, I've been doing premieres because it helps me with scheduling stuff out. So don't worry. There'll still be content. I'm still doing a live feed tonight too. So aren't you guys sick of me yet? Anyway, don't you want me to take a little break? Kind of take a step back. <laughs> I take a couple weeks off. I've never. I don't think I've ever taken. The only time I've ever taken time off is when I've been suspended from YouTube. I'm in one of the smallest towns in Missouri. Which one is that? Uh, which one is that? Past the duchy? <laughs> I would if you were right next to me. What's up, KL? Bro, you need to check out Kylie Minogue spinning around. I think you will think of her as the Aussie Shakira. Uh, I know of Kylie Minogue from when I was younger. Promiscuous boy. You mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for promiscuous girl. Oh, I messed up the whole fucking thing. That's gotta be her, right? Should be right. You wanting to see other people? LOL. You don't love us anymore, <laughs> dude. I love you guys more than you fucking know. Who, who? Listen. Who else do you know? Lays in bed and is like, hmm. I can't sleep. I'm gonna go just hang out. I'm saying like, I'm gonna just go live and just kick the shit with the people that I love. Like, that's how comfortable I am here. A lot of people don't even like, dude, you want to know the truth? A lot of people don't even like making content. They see it as just a fucking job where they got to project and they got to put on some fucking show and they get stuck in this cog wheel. If they don't do it, they fall out of the algorithm and then they don't make any money. Like, I have fun, dude. People get on me about reactions and sometimes I'm late to them. Dude, I'm doing things at my own pace. I run a studio. I got 3,000 clients. I got 18 engineers to look after with, well, I was going to say six interns. We're down to three now. But yeah, I got three interns to look after as well. Like I'm putting food on people's fucking plates. And then I've also got clients I got to write for. So I have a whole other business that I'm like dealing with. So when I make videos, I make them at this time of the night. I make them between like one and four, one and five in the morning. And then when I go to the studio, I upload them. And they're uploaded by like 12 or 1 p.m. I try to spread them out a little bit now. But everyone thinks like I'm like a full-time YouTuber, which I guess I guess I put out enough content to be a full-time YouTuber, but I'm not. Like I'm not, I don't, I'm not here. It's hard to explain. Like, uh, I can't explain it. Kylie Minogue, Kylie Minogue is awesome. Yeah, she is. Uh David Bell said, do a reaction to smooth jam way. Yeah, I'll check out some more Jam Wayne, man. Jam Wayne showed some love. She's like a cool dude. I told him I want to have a beard contest, and I realized I'd definitely fucking lose the bat. That shit don't even look real. Just like it was glued on with Gorilla Glue. Southern Fried Cliff is kind of funny. <laughs> Southern Fried Cliff, yes. See, if you're ever going to diss me or like have fun with me, be creative so I can laugh, dude, man. If you're going to diss me, diss me the right way, please, so I can laugh. Make me think. Think about responding. Like, make me think about, like, hmm, am I willing to fucking risk it all to destroy this person? It'll probably never happen because I, I, if I put my, like, if, if somebody disses me and I put too much attention into them, they're actually going to grow. It also shows that they get under your skin. And no, you can't really get under my skin on the fucking internet. What, what's the worst you're gonna? What's what's the worst someone's gonna say? Like, oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Bye. 
Okay, like I can't stop you. I, I hope you enjoyed while you were here and take care of yourselves. I hope to see you in the future. <laughs> Besides that, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know. Like, I meet people in person all the time and I say, what's up? Dude, one time, dude, one time I was at the gym. I don't know if I told you guys this story before. I was at the gym, right? And I was half, I was fucked up like this. I was half asleep. I couldn't wake up. It was like seven o'clock in the morning. I never go to the gym at seven in the morning. And I'm working out and I'm on this fly machine because all the machines are taken. And out of the corner of my eye, I could see like a group of kids like just staring me down. I won't say kids, but like younger than me, you know, like young 20s, maybe early, like late, late teens. And they're staring at me. There's like a group of six kids. And I'm like, all right, like, I'm like, maybe like I, I did something to like one of their sisters or something like maybe something happened in the past i don't fucking know maybe i know one of them from a long time ago but i, I know they keep looking at me and i'm like fuck like i'm gonna have to fight off six people right now this is a south side chicago mindset and as i'm sitting there these kids start walking up to me right so i'm like i grab my keys out of my fucking i got my keys in my hand and i got them like kind of Set up like so if I punch somebody, I mean the the keys are gonna go through their cheek. Um and it turn out turns out they recognize me from fucking YouTube. And they're like, What's up, you Cliff Beats? And I was like, Yes. They were like, Can we get a picture? And I'm like, I literally just woke up, but sure. Like I try to take pictures and say what's up to everybody all the time, man. Just a fucking normal person. But it was just funny. I thought I thought I was about to get attacked by like these six kids. I was like, Oh fuck, here we go. Seven in the morning. I looked at them and I was like, I could probably take like four of them. The fifth and sixth, I might be a little winded by. I was like, but I can give it my best shot. I'm half awake, but I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, it was just funny. It was just funny because I like I forget about the YouTube shit. Like I forget like when I go about my business, I forget that I have like a public profile. And, uh, and then I sign back on, I make videos, I go about my business, I talk about which ones are coming next, and I do podcasts and shit, and then I just, I'm on to the next, I'm, I'm always working. <clears throat> Casper said, well, if you think it about, wait, if you think about it, an hour-long video is still only an hour of your day. So a lot of these full-time YouTubers aren't even full-time, even though they are. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I do spend a bit of time on YouTube, but here's the thing. Like, when you're a freelance songwriter, you work at your own time. So if I want to go work on a song, so say I'm working on a project. Say there's six songs in this project. I write three of them in a day and a half. All right, well, I got plenty of time to work with. Maybe I got, like, a three-month extension on this. The artist is stalling because they're in the middle of a fucking touring. Okay, well, I can just get to it whenever I want. That's my project for the next fucking three months. You know what I'm saying? So I've got time to make video, do content and shit like that. And whenever I want to go to my studio, I go there and I fucking put my foot in people's asses to make sure they're not stealing and they're taking care of our clients. It's as simple as that. But I think people overcomplicate things of like how the studio is ran and shit. Like, I don't, I don't know. You'd have to look it up. It's all public record, too. Anybody can go look at it. What's up, cat? Good morning. As you can see, I am completely toasted, and I don't know why I'm live. This is probably why I need somebody to tell me when I should and should not go live or be on a computer. <clears throat> Wait, Dakota said, okay, I like these questions. I like these questions. Hey, Cliff, is that a DBZ painting blurred on the background? No, this is cooler than a fucking Dragon Ball Z. I'll show it again. What's my boy, who's a nasty fucking graffiti artist, or just an artist in general? General, he made this for me. It says Cliff Beats. I just got this two days ago, and it's fucking one of my favorite pieces. I gotta find. I'm either gonna hang it up at the studio in one of my favorite rooms, or I'm gonna get an easel, hang it up here. But man, this is one of the dopest things I've ever received in my life. And I got, I was going to tell you guys something too. Um, so what, what I'm also going to do is this, is I know that there's quite a few, 
quite a few. Qu quite a few. I know. I know. There's quite a few. To. I know there's quite a few people who want to sell, sell me, or who want to send me some stuff. Um, if you want to send me something personally, I'm not putting a address out there because some people are absolute psychos. I have an address that I'm willing to share with people who want to send me stuff. So just Instagram me if you want to send me something to show off. Like I have other people who want to send me paintings and stuff, and I don't I don't mind like showing off your shit and saying like, "Yo, check this person out." That's cool. Um, just don't send me anthrax. Please don't kill me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> keep it peaceful. Um, but yeah, I've got a place where if you want to contact me, um, I'll, I'll let some people send me some stuff. I've been really strict on letting people send me some stuff. But, you know, I, I got a location I can use. I just don't like using it because I'm not always out there. Uh, Lee reacts says infinite. Okay. Lee reacts. What's up? Lee reacts. Everyone go like, go subscribe. A common misconception is that YouTube videos don't take long to make. They can make a good few hours sometimes, but wait, they can take a good few hours sometimes, but it depends on how much you edit. Yeah. No, no PO box in Chicago. Chaotic old boy. No, no, no PO box here. They're super expensive and it's an absolute fucking nightmare. No, trust me. I'm just going to give an address out. I'm not worried about it. I'm really not worried about it. It's my pub. It's, it's it's a pub. So you literally look it up. It's called Clifford's Pub. It's in Palatine, Illinois. I'm just thinking about that address. So for people who want to send me something. <clears throat> Cliff says, please don't kill me. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Cliff, the great bearded one, and Sean Connery. Didn't Sean Connery pass away? R.I.P. Sean Connery. Uh, Eva Salima said, I'm going to keep you playing, but got to be listening to the class. Oh, you're listening to me in class? Hmm, we got to make this X-rated. I got to start doing some like, oh, yeah. Hey there, baby girl. What's your name? What you wearing? Start messing with somebody while they're in class. That was terrible. You know you don't want to do that math homework. You want to do something else. Think about it for a second. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That is the worst sexy talk ever, dude. I'm fucking high as shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but now there's ASMR. I'm out. Cliff sprays water. No. <laughs> the Cliff... Beats anti math ASMR. I can't even read my contacts are dry. Shit, that's a very different Cliff Beats. Stomny is a bitch. You're definitely a real one. Cliff, enjoy your videos. God bless. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate you. What's up, Trisha? Oh, I like that. Nice voice. Thank you. I can talk. <laughs> I can do the AR where like he pulls the mic like real close to his face. Right? Huh. I'm gonna break this thing. You gotta talk to everybody like this. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great night. Taking care of yourselves, looking all sexy and shit. Yeah, I like it when you talk to me like that, Lee reacts. What's up, David Bell? What else could you tell me about yourself? Oh, yeah. Everyone hugs and kisses all around. Get together. Get the baby oil. You got to get me offline, dude. I'm a problem. Hey, bold dread, man. <laughs> bold dread. <laughs> the old eating the mic voice. I thought I was too high. You sound like a trucker on a CB radio. <laughs> the Kool-Aid man. Yes. Nice. We're watching Barry White now. AR is going to be jealous. Oh, okay, this is what you were saying. Sorry, Dakota, I'm getting caught up. I'm going back over to f f fuck's sakes clip. What execution for fuck's sakes clip? What? What do you want for me? The best way to report? Yeah, there you go. Oh, for what I was doing. I thought you were saying I was ignoring you. <laughs> My bad. I was getting pissed. Dakota, I want to answer your question. Dakota said, hey, Cliff, I've been feeling this type of way. 
I've been thinking about who's better, Tupac or Kendrick Lamar, and I can't even make up my mind on who's better because both of them have phenomenal, 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 phenomenal music. They all have phenomenal fucking music, and phenomenal is the best fucking word ever used in the history of English. So for, everyone use that word from now on, all right? Phenomenal. Listen, they are both phenomenal, but Tupac's songs have had so much more of an impact than Kendrick Lamar as of right now so just let time go by okay it's a totally different generation rap is totally different but Pac was a one of a kind talent that taught a lot of people about delivery in rap he, he kind of changed the way bars are being delivered in hip-hop no one has to be better you can love them both equally i mean i love every fucking artist I mean, okay, for example, let, let, let's talk about the, uh, the the Kendrick Lamar dissing Drake and uh, J. Cole. J. Cole's been nothing but respectful to Kendrick Lamar. But here, here's the thing. Kendrick does this thing where he kind of disappears for a little bit after dropping a classic, right? He'll go on tour, he'll take a little break, and then out of nowhere, he, it's like a marketing plan, and he's just genius with it. He'll drop a verse where he takes shots at whoever he feels deserves it at that time. So I guarantee what happened was he heard first person shooter and he was like, why are you mentioning my name? Even if it's out of respect, like don't even put me in that conversation. I'm in a whole different other category, category, bro. Like you don't know me like that, you know? And, and he wants to keep it competitive too. I don't know the relationship behind the scenes like that um but k dot wants to keep hip-hop competitive this is good for the genre do i think the, the the person who would actually respond first or rap back would probably be drake and i think he already did respond via twitter like you know these motherfuckers ain't touching me or something like that with pop records no they're not no no one's touching drake with pop records that's not going to happen no, but when it comes to being a lyrical mastermind, J. Cole and Kendrick are both. Eh. Like, don't, K. Dot, don't get me twisted, but do J. Cole's been waiting. Just go back and listen to Middle Child, what he said. Pay attention, man. He basically said, look, if I ever go at a rapper, like, when it comes to a battle, like, I'm going to sue, like, I'm going to kamikaze this shit. I will wreck both of our careers to ensure that you no longer have a, a, a platform anymore. J. Cole's methodical. He's very smart. He's one of the nastiest rappers I've ever heard. And, dude, he holds, dude, he holds back, and he's still amazing. It's disgusting. He holds back to make sure the song is cohesive. Drake is an overrated lyricist. I disagree. I disagree. Drake moves in trends. And what I mean by that is whatever is popular or popping with kids, that's where he's going to move. So we started doing the, the, the UK ting. He started doing that for a while. Uh, but he, he's changing up. You know, now he's doing with the stick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 oh, yeah. So he's sticking with the modern flow patterns. He's not Drake from 2009. Like, I just want to be successful. Like, that version of Drake to me was the best rapping version of Drake, or 5 a.m. in Toronto. 5 a.m. 5, 5 in Toronto is probably one of Drake's best rap tracks. Um, but he he's a pop star, and he is one of the biggest, one of the best to ever do it, and you can't take that away from him. But to counter that argument, what I'm saying is when it comes to a battle like hip-hop, I don't think he holds a flame to either J. Cole or Kendrick. I really don't. I really don't. It's not even a question. Join, uh, bro, Joiner is a beast too. Joiner is a beast. But Joiner got cooked by Tory Lanez. Let's keep that a buck. I love Joiner, dude. I really love Joiner. He's one of the nastiest, but if you go back and you. Tory Lanez was heavily slept on. You talk about somebody who holds their pen back or also moves in waves. I know he's locked up for the next five to seven years, but Tory Lanez, 
He put a flame under that ass, dude. Now, I, I would say the battle was fairly even, but edged out. Like, when Tory Lane started going into, like, your career is basically based off of, like, your fathers who never made it. I was like, holy shit. Like, he started calling him out for some shit. And I was like, God damn. Like, when you start get, when you start, again, in a battle, if you're battling somebody, you want to research. You want to know things that not even the internet would know. You got to, like, talk to people close to them. Because once you find out some, like, dirt, dirt, and you put that on record, the fans, the people listening won't know. They won't know what it means, but the, the person it's being said to, they're going to go, Holy shit, like, this This is cutting deep. The only way a battle happens is when somebody actually gets under someone's skin. Otherwise, nothing really fucking matters. Someone could diss someone all day. If they don't respond because they don't care, then it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You got to find a way. Per perfect example was what, what, what Pusha T did with Drake with Added On. Dude, when he announced Drake's child to the world, like on some fucking, uh, I don't know, private investigator shit. I was like, damn. I want to see that meme right now from Friday. Damn. Dude, that's when everybody was like, dude, stay away from Pusha T right now. He's got some insider information. I would step away from that man because he's been trying to battle you for like five years do they they've been having like many back and forth before that ever even happened the duppy freestyle uh infrared you know good music and ovo have kind of always had a little thing for going after one another yeah man i don't know but if it came to like lyrical sparring i think j cole and kendrick would be the best uh, but I, I, I don't want to see that. I mean, I do want to see that, like, to, to help hip-hop. But at the same time, it's like I'd rather them get together and collab and make a dope-ass album for us to jam out to for the summer. Like, I, I'd rather have them to come up with some crazy song concepts for us to be like, holy shit, like, this is changing the game. Not, not with the petty beef. We don't need it. If they want to do that off to the side while doing another project, sure, have some friendly banter battles or something. But, uh... No, I'd rather have a mixtape or an album. I want to see. I want to see artists come together that like normally wouldn't click up, and fucking just kill a track. And now I got some dope ass music to listen to on my ride homes or you know whatever I'm doing. Battles are cool, but think about it. When you watch the battle, you watch it once, twice, maybe four or five times. That's it. But when someone makes a song and it's that good, like you got like legends on a track together. You're going to listen to it a hundred times or more. Like you just don't stop listening. Dude, there's songs I listen to now that I've been listening to since I was nine years old. I'll just put them on because they're familiar to me. They make, they remind me of a time. You know, that's what songs are there to do, to remind you of a time. Or to make you feel like you're relating to what's happening. The song's been written about you. It will it it fucks people up so much that it makes them think that the song is actually about them. Of course, a lot of those people are mentally insane, and then they message me and go, "Yo, this song was written about me," and I'm like, "That's not fucking humanly possible." But sure thing, run with that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need some beef. But listen, 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 listen. What, what have I always said about the battles, right? Pay attention. I've always said, look, when people want to send me their people, every day people want to send me lyrics to read, and I say, I, I could read your lyrics, but I can't deliver the bars because in my head, I'm going to deliver them in a nasty ass way to make it sound the best. I need to know how you imagine how that bar is supposed to set. Are supposed to say so j just for example with kendrick's big bar that has the whole world shaken up he rhymed um three and me fuck your big three it's just me like if you take that at face value and you read that off of a piece of paper it's like eh okay not bad but it's the way he says it your big three 
yeah, but I can't say certain other words, but the way he said it with such anger and like, just don't ever mention my fucking name again. You know, it, it's the delivery is key in hip hop. In, in all music, in all genres, delivery is key. It doesn't matter what the lyrics are. If you deliver them correctly, you're, you're just fine. You, you'll be fine. So when people show me their work, I'm like, yeah, it's good. They're like, well, can you give me pointers? I'm like, yeah, can you record it and send it to me so I can hear it? And they normally don't. Am I in Vegas yet? <laughs> Go to Vegas. I'm sorry you got to work, love. Ritz makes good records. What's up, Shady Vibes? Uh, Bitter Betty Podcast. I want Tom Ren and Ronnie Radke to collab. Break the fucking internet. Yeah, man, you never know what's going to happen. I would imagine that's going to happen. In the future. You think M will bring the K-Dot beef up on the album? Um, No, probably not, because the album's already finished, unless, unless Eminem goes back and he wants to put a couple extra tracks in there to kind of you know address the mom spaghetti situation. I don't see Eminem acknowledging shit. He's going to take shots. He's going to throw some low blows in there. <laughs> They're going to be nasty. They're gonna be equivalent to like what he did with Nick Cannon, like the like to you, Nick. Like they're gonna be very similar to that, where they're lo they're low blows, pun intended. That's what they're gonna be, or even the same thing with you know, um, music to be murdered by. You know, like you know, they came at me with machine guns. It's like fighting off a gnat, basically comparing Machine Gun Kelly to a gnat, just a nuisance, just somebody just flying by him that is that big. You know what I'm saying? That that lives off garbage. Like that he compared MGK to a fucking gnat. <laughs> That's insanity, dude. So yeah, I, I, I don't see Benzino do Benzino I, he's gonna release a video and it's probably gonna get twenty thousand views. And it's gonna come from stands. It's gonna be stands who are too protective over M and they just wanna watch the video so they can be mad. Which is not good. It, but if people just refuse to watch it it would fall out of the algorithm and it would get like a thousand views that would, that would be devastating for him m logic and little dicky is my dream track but i'll never get to see it now m logic and little dicky well i mean m is still moving uh little dicky still moving and doesn't logic still do some little tours here and there you never know tool is awesome yeah i, I got some more I'm, I'm dropping tool today i got a couple songs dropping from tool today um, Dakota said, I feel like the Kendrick versus Drake and J. Cole beef is going to cause much division, uh, not only between the three, but everyone else that's on that album that Future released. Maybe. Look, dude, you got to sell records. It, it could be a fucking ploy at the same time. Like, first person shooter came out how long ago? Like, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 investigator Cliff. First, came out seven months ago, didn't it? I forgot about the song. Came out four months ago. Okay, so he he, he addressed it almost half a year later. I, I forgot about the lyrics. I had to go back and re-listen to First Person Shooter to make sure I was catching every bar. Cliff, have you seen or heard the Hamilton musical? I have in pieces, Justin. I meant all Eminem guys do is sample Benzino's Drink Champs interview. Oh, yeah, all I have to do is that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said there's a cartoon people want me to check out, but I'm not checking out no fucking cartoon. I don't even know. Uh, Ravnik said, what are your thoughts on of Tech? You mean Tech 9? I mean, Tech's a technician. I mean, he's been doing this shit for a long time, man. I, he, he's the best independent artist I think I've ever seen in my life, if I'm being 100% honest with you. The tech is special, but tech is also very niche. You have to really be into his music, you know. Um, I've never been really into fast rap, but I do like his songs that are a bit slower. Um, but I still respect the pen and the craftsmanship. I, I respect what he does. Tech is a monster. What's up, Kirsty? What's up, David? Everybody over on Twitch, thank you so much for showing love. I don't know what that 20 is, but I appreciate that. Stroking the mic, lol. When the shit goes down, Cliff Beats is ready. I'm Christopher Bell's father. What? <laughs> what is going on over here, David Bell? Reminds me of Beyonce, dude. Again, dude. 
P. Diddy fl fled the fucking country. And I don't think she, I, I don't think that they can go chase him. I think he went, where did he go? Did he go to Bora Bora or something? Where did P. Diddy fly off to? Hold on. Where did, where did Diddy fly off to? He flew off to somewhere. Hold on. Where did Diddy fly off to? Yeah, it looks like the plane was on the ground in uh, the Caribbean island of Antigua. Um, can Diddy be brought back to U.S.? It depends on where he goes. Some countries don't have agreements with America where they go, oh, hey, you got somebody fucking left your country? Well, it's not our problem. Some people don't work with the governments. I don't know, man. But if your house gets raided like that, like your LA and Miami homes are getting raided, uh, yeah, that shit's over with, man. Cal Scrub is better than Diddy. <laughs> yes, I see you, Nate. God damn it. I see you. I know you want some Cal Scrubby. I get it. Going to Diddy going to be hang out, hanging out with Robin in North Korea. I don't know. That's it's you know, like I said, this is something that's been talked about in the industry for a long time. People gave Mesa a hard time and wondered why, like he split off from Diddy and you know, he 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 went towards religion and he still put out music and did his thing. Um could he have been like one of the next biggest acts in rap? Yeah, he could have been. But I he wasn't with the fuck shit that Diddy was on. So he left. And now things are coming back full circle. That's why I'm just, listen. One thing to take away from my hat, my high ass just mumbling through this goddamn rant. I, I know people say it all the time. And people get tired of hearing it. But this, this is some real shit. Take care of the people that you see or that you meet. Like, as you're going through your life. Because... Eventually, you end up meeting back up again, and how you treated them the first time around, they're not going to forget. So, just be nice to fucking people. I know people can suck sometimes, and, you know, they cut you off in traffic. Dude, Some I honestly, I, I try to just show sympathy, sympathy and say, hey, maybe, maybe that person's having a bad day, or maybe someone, their kid's home, it's, and they're sick, and I'm not thinking, hey, this asshole's cut me off because he wants to be a dick. I, I I'm just saying, like, just treat people. It's, it's so hard to say because I understand the frustrations. Let's be real. We're not frustrated with each other. We're more or less frustrated with how we're being treated and how we can't really afford to live anymore. Every country is hurting. Did you know the United States is now, like, on the, I think it's number 25 on, like, the places that people want to live? 25. I think people are more frustrated with the fact that we can't live in peace and harmony. Like, look, if we were all financially set, right? The, everybody in this fucking chat, we wouldn't be so fucking irritated and working our asses off and fucking grinding from 5 a.m. until 9 p.m. And then we got to hear from somebody else giving us shit because they didn't get enough of our time. And then it's just a constant back and forth battle. Dude, if everybody was financially okay, and we were able to like actually focus on relationships with one another. I think that the human race would create some things that are unimaginable because there'd be no conflict. We'd be okay. We're, we're all fucking wound up because we're in this fucking rat race and it's just keeping up with the Joneses. You know, this is why a lot of people like kind of harp on me like Cliff, like, okay. If you're this amazing rapper that you claim to be, which I never fucking claimed to be, I just said I help write songs. Why, why don't you just go independent and start rapping? You think I want to even say, say, say I was the best rapper alive that anybody's ever heard in their life. You think I want to live like that? You think it's nice to live like that? I don't care how much money you have, dude. You got to live with security around you 24 seven. You got to live in a gated community. You can't go to a grocery store. You can't sit down and take somebody out to lunch or dinner. You can't do anything. Of course, the money is nice and you're more comfortable. I would say it'd be more ideal to try to get as much wealth as you can. And then once you accumulate that, 
invest it and spend time with your loved ones. That that's my only piece of advice. Just use that and just be nice to fucking people, man. It's tough, dude. We're all fucking struggling. I don't care where you're at in the world. We're all going through shit. And if it's not something financial, we got something going on personal. Or we got something going on health-wise. Like, there's not one person on this earth that's not dealing with some shit. Someone's got a fucking toe, a hangnail right now on their big toe. All right? Something's going on. Someone accidentally shrunk their clothes when they just did their last load of laundry. <laughs> this shit just happened. Someone stubbed their toe right now. Like, shit just happens, you know? And I, I think we got to stop taking some shit way too, too serious sometimes. I will, I will say staying in Scotland, we get some government help during difficult times for families. Yeah, for sure. For sure, that's what's up. Cliff, can you react to NFM Free 2012 mixtape? I didn't do that one, Joshua. Could you, it's underground stuff before Mansion. Could you do me a favor and leave that in one of my last videos or one of my videos whenever I fucking upload it all later today? I feel attacked. Why you got to call out my laundry main? <laughs> I got right there in that closet behind me. I got two big ass things of laundry that I got to do. Even though you only see me wear black v-necks and gray joggers, I have the same outfit I usually wear every single day with a pair of white Adidas shoes. But I have so many other clothes that I just don't wear unless I'm like going. Like if I open that thing, you're going to see me have like 100 jackets. I have so many jackets that they're just smushed together. Then I got suits and stuff in there too. I don't use them anymore. Ever since COVID, I've just been wearing fucking joggers and a black v-neck or a white v-neck. And a, I, got, I got like 50 of these fucking uh, hoodies. I go on Old Navy and I buy them for like 10 bucks a pop. Call it a day. La laundry mo monster never dies. I I'm just saying, look. I know a lot of people find it cheesy. They hate hearing this shit. Just try to be a little bit kinder to one another. Even, even if you see people attacking me in comment sections, like I ignore it. Or I'll just be like, hey, like you have everything all good with you. And they take it the wrong way. Um, sometimes I've been out of pocket and I've even lashed out at people. Um, but that's only like when they've really like gone off the rails, like go on and like attack me, attack me where I've actually snapped. They just caught me at a bad moment. I'm fucking human. You're going to catch me at bad moments. But for the most part, I walk away. I just say, I hope everything's well and take care. Peace out and wish you the best. Yeah, what the fuck? What else do you want me to do? You know? No matter what you do, even if you do nothing, people are going to criticize it. If you do something, people are going to criticize it. So you might as well do whatever the fuck you love. And like what the fuck I love is taking another hit of this lovely dr dr drug. Oh, my channel got terminated for that. That'd be so stupid. Legal here too. Puff, puff, pass. Do you have a podcast? Trisha, yes. Um, I had Cliff Notes podcast. I think we got up to like 40-something episodes. Um, but I'm starting a legitimate podcast with me and four of my friends, which will be launching in April-ish probably. Uh, and then I'm going to have Cliff Notes going again as well. And I will be doing interviews. More interviews, less of me just talking with the chat. You'll hear me talking to somebody else. Obviously, it's going to be through uh, the internet. But it's all one and the same. I'd rather have the one-on-ones. Um, the energy is different. When you have somebody in the room, you can really get a vibe off them. Uh, but I can't really travel like that. If I could, if I could do it full-time, I could travel. But I have, I have shit to take care of. But I do have some cool-ass people. Someone say a podcast. A podcast. Skate Bob said, feel like I should start a podcast. That'd be fucking amazing. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, Nif Red said, I want to go live, but scary. Don't know the rules, but this is fun. Hey, hey, listen, anybody who wants to create content, if you have any questions for me, please hit me up. Don't ever be afraid to make content. 
Uh, I think this is a hybrid right here, uh, Mitman. Dude, go watch how bad my first reaction video is. But, like, with anything that you start, you're going to suck. You're going to be terrible. It's everything in life that you first do for the first time. It's just taking that leap and just trying it. And then, okay, that was interesting. I had a nice little rush. Let me try it again. Then eventually you get used to it. Next thing you know, you forgot you even made 30 fucking videos. And you're like, holy shit, I made all these videos? You know? It's just... It, it, it's repetition. It's like shooting a basketball. At first, you have a, your shot looks... Bonk as hell. You're over here rolling your ankle every time you do a jump shot. And then now you got perfect form. You got your elbow tucked in. You know what I'm saying? Like you got your hands in the right place, flick of the wrist. It it just it's all repetition with anything. It's practice. Just start making content. Mm. Mm. A lot of people, dude. <laughs> I can't say too much about this. Never mind. Like, dude, there's content creators out there that reach out to me. And like they they show me their content before they release it, and I'm like, what's the issue? They're like, is it good enough? And I'm like, you've got like 10 million more subscribers than me. What do you mean? Is this good enough? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, you know what to do better than I do. Like, sure, it's it's great, it's fantastic. It's your work, it's your artwork. If you feel it's good enough, then fucking put it out. Don't overthink this shit. I don't I don't, I don't know why people ask me those questions. <laughs> I keep choking on water. <laughs> the reacts start today. My first reaction video, I did it in my car. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> I had my shitty ass, like, iPhone 10 sitting right here under my camera. I had it sitting up the wrong way. I hit play, and then, boom, I just started talking into it. And <clears throat> I had these shitty little speakers. And I just listened to, uh, I think we did Eminem. Eminem Infinite. That was the first one that we did. It was terrible. It was so you could barely hear me. I was way off camera. It didn't fucking matter. I got the shakes like I'm Conor McGregor coming down off of a coke binge. Because I was like, I had like nervous tics and shit. I wasn't used to like sitting in front of a camera for 20 minutes at a time. But then, you know, I wanted to leave something behind. So it was worth the risk for me. <clears throat> Those dumb phones are up to 10. They're up to 15. I need a cough drop. I fucking cough my lungs out here. What the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, it's one of my biggest things that I don't like. Those people like, I can't, I can't release content because of this. It's like, dude, grab your phone. I can go put up a YouTube short right now. I'll be like, yo, what up, everybody? I'm live right now on YouTube in a live feed. Come hang out with me. Insomniacs assemble. Boom, piece of content right there. You, you got to get yourself in the algorithm. Better content will will come to you as you make it. But I honestly don't think I make anything special. Dude. I'm not like that creative type that's going to create skits and sketches and go donate a million dollars to McDonald's employees. <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to hit people with some fake ass skits like that. Um, I'm going to support artists. I'm going to support my niche, what I love, music. So I'm going to make sure independent artists are taken care of along with artists that don't get the recognition they deserve on social media, maybe because they weren't around during the social media age. And also independent artists that are coming up. I love the fucking support. But yeah, hit me with some dirt. Who's got some dirt? What's going on? What's happening? Cliff Beats. Remember that mobile fell every time you bang the table? Oh, yeah. That's right. My phone kept falling. I would, like, hit the table. My phone would fall down. Well, I remember. Those nights were very interesting. 
Uh, it's all about the personality and the reaction game and people like you and your style and they will subscribe. Yeah. Possibly. I don't I never chase I never like was chasing a number or nothing. Like I still don't fucking chase anything. Uh this is Ags. Says you playing music right now? No, we're just talking. We're just chatting and sound acts are just fucking asking questions and we're just fucking chopping it up. Fucking you know, you want to add your two cents. I thought about playing a game over here and fucking trying to hunt some ghosts down, but I was like, I don't know if I got it in me. I think I'm a little bit too high to be chasing ghosts right now. I have a ghost chasing me. Game will turn reverse and I'll just be hiding in a closet just like, fuck this fucking game. <clears throat> you got an easel? I ordered uh, the art easel for the art piece back there. Maybe put some chill jazz music on quietly in the background clip, make it cozy. I don't know what's copyrighted and what's not. That's the issue. I don't think you guys realize how, like, fucking fucked up YouTube is. I mean, you want to put some, like, Harry Mack? Like, like, but even some of his music is fucking. Not recently uploaded. What the fuck? Unwatched videos. No, where's the release? Where's Harry Mack? Oh. It, it, it's it sucks because you can't really do anything else. Put this on. Like I don't know how low that is for you guys. I don't even know if you could hear that or not. Wouldn't that sound weird? If you have fucking Harry Mag talking while I'm talking at the same time too. No, I know you hear it. I just don't want it to fucking. You don't want it to hear background stuff. That's what I was saying. Royalty free music is all over YouTube. Oh yeah, so you get a fucking strike for it. Yeah, we're just chatting. I, I can't I can't focus with Harry Mack over here fucking rapping like a motherfucker. I have a channel, Cliff. Can I dispute ad sharing video? You can dispute anything. What do you mean? Like you're getting limited ad uh, advertise? You're getting questions about <clears throat> limited ad revenue because there might be cursing in like the title of your thumbnail or Stuff that might be too raunchy, or you might have said some things in the video. You could dispute it. The worst thing that happens is it comes back and just says your video is limited. I always I dispute everything. I dispute everything. What time is it for me? It's 4 39 a.m. Oh, Cliff, YouTube has ruined you. I guess. Oh yeah. YouTube is completely Rips me apart. I, I am in a horrible shape right now. Uh, speak, Cliff. Hello? I'm here. I feel like a dog. It's not me a fucking speak. Ad sharing, a.k.a. not fully getting all the monetization. I don't even care about that. Yeah, YouTube ruined everyone. Ha ha ha. What lighting you use for your room? It looks good. Um... I don't know, they're professional lighters, uh, lighters, professional lighting, I forget what it's called. I got these soft uh, box white, white lights, this one's not even turned on. This one is, this one, this can't, This light is. And then off to my side, I just have, I bought like two of them, they came in a pack of two, they were like 300 bucks. Um, it's just a, a light that could just change colors and I forget what they're called, I'd have to link them down below, but I bought them a while ago. P. Diddy's house has got raided yesterday. Oh, we know. <laughs> that man's over there. Where I saying Bora Bora? I mean, some recent Dirt, Dirt Misfits boxing, KSI boxing promotion had an event and it got swatted. Dude, I've been telling everybody, get a petition. Set me up with an MMA fight. I would MMA fight somebody on YouTube in the same weight division. That people can't stand or that they would want to see me fight. 
line it up, set it up. I'm in. You guys petition for it. I'm in. Tyson versus that guy, what you think? I think it's a bad decision for Mike Tyson. I think he's 57 years old and getting hit in the side of your, uh, you know, your cranium and uh, risking a stroke or something like that is just idiotic. But it's Mike Tyson, so he's a gladiator, man. <clears throat> Uh, Dakota said, how much have you made through like being a ghostwriter? If you don't mind me asking, and sorry if this is rude or anything. Yeah, I can't really divulge that information. And that'd be like, Hey, how much money do you make a year? You know, uh, there's been years where I've made just an average salary of $50,000. There's been years where I've had albums do well and they could be six figures or more. You know, uh, it just all depends on how projects go. I've been doing it for 14 years. Um, yeah, that's how it works. Simple as that. Have you seen Tyson's training videos, though? Um, I seen him in passing. I thought, uh, I thought that was old footage from when he was getting ready to fight Ro uh, Royce uh, Jones. That's what I thought, but. If that's not, he looks fucking good. But DC said he's seen him walking into the UFC with a walking cane. So maybe he just had a hip surgery or something. Oh, either way, man, 57 years old, you really shouldn't be fighting anybody. He is a chump for even considering the fight. Just, just fight a boxer that is your age. Who cares if they're better? Test yourself, man. You don't learn until you fucking lose. I hate this mentality of keeping a goose egg next to your name like you've never lost before. You know the most successful people in this world have heard the most no's. Think about that. They've heard the most no's and got fucked over so many more times than any of us can count. Those are the most successful people. They have failed over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again until one thing one thing out of the million things that they tried finally clicked for them. And then once they seen it work and they ran with it. I'll keep it a buck. Why do you think I still make social media? I don't need to make social media, guys. I love this shit. I have fallen in love with just hanging out with everybody. So if I can create a podcast where like, you know, I'm goofing off, hanging out with people and shit like that would be ideal in the future. I'm not going to be writing music forever. Eventually, I will phase out. I will phase out of music. I will always write music and probably record music. Uh, at that point, will I release stuff to the public? Probably. Probably. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm where I'm at. But I see myself doing music maybe for another 10 years. But in those 10 years, I'd like to build a foundation to start a social media, um, build some type of presence. I, I guess, you know, uh, I've been blessed with enough people to watch me, which is I'm beyond grateful for. Start different podcasts, get to meet other people that I want to talk to, um, that I find interesting, and just hang out with them, man. Like, that, that's what I would love to do. And I think, it's not that I think I know it's going to happen. I can feel it in my bones. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. This is all this is all like a practice run. Like me going through YouTube's hard times, me fucking trying to figure out all this bullshit, me trying to set it, it, these are all steps to get you to where you're supposed to go. And it, it, that's the same thing with, with with what's going on in your life. If you're going through a hard time right now, Dude, that hard time is just pulling you back to launch you forward. Like something big's going to come up and it's just going to but here's the thing. It's not going to fall in your lap if you're just sitting there not doing anything. You, you, they say like, you know, oh, that person just got lucky. Well, it seems like the people who work the most, who bust their ass the most, they seem to get fucking lucky quite often. So it's like, you know, I, I, is it really luck or is it just your networking? Like That's why I try to keep a good rapport with everybody that I speak with. Because you never know, again, when you might run into them or you might need them for something. Like, dude, every... I. I kid you not. People have told me to start a side business with this. 
<clears throat> I have people who reach out to me every day. They're dealing with copyright strikes since I made that, that copyright strike video. And on YouTube, everybody's dealing with copyright strikes every single day. I've got five to 20 channels that are hitting me up. I don't announce it. I don't say, look who I helped today. Da, da, da. I help them out. They get their channels back. And then they're like, what can, how much do I owe you? What can I? Nothing. I don't want anything back. Just pay it forward. But you know what? If something ever happens in the future, say they blow up or I blow, blow up or whatever, that, that's a conversation to have in the future and maybe do a podcast about it and then link up and maybe create content. You never know, you know? So I always leave that door open and they're like, really? Like, you don't want anything for it? It's like, no. Like, congratulations. You got your channel. I'm so happy for you. Fuck, I don't want your money. I'll, I'll even say like, well, you know what? Maybe pay me back with a podcast in the future if you're open to it. I'd love to hear your story and what you got going on. They're like, fuck yeah. Just you want to have a podcast and chop it up? Like, let me know whatever, whenever you want. But people like to ask me like, I've fixed channels and they're like, why? They're like, how much do I owe you? And I'm like, nothing. They're like, you should just start a business doing this because you like literally just saved me and my livelihood. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not going to. It's not about the money. I'd rather build the relationships. It's just like when you invest in a business and say that the business doesn't go well, <clears throat> you're, you're paying for the experience to learn those failures. You know, so, you know, so you're, not, you're not getting your initial return. You're not getting what you initially wanted. But what you are getting is knowledge that you would not have gotten before if the business was a success. So you, you're, you're, you're paying a hefty price for some knowledge, but you're learning some shit to go, oh, I'm not letting that happen again. Oh, next time I deal with somebody like that, I know how to work around them or work with them. I now, I now know the steps to this process, so this will never happen again. It's just, it's just perspective and, and changing your mind. and Yeah, you, you got to look at shit like that. Yeah. Again, like and you'll never you'll never hear me announce who I've helped out. I mean, the, listen, there's only been a few people who have like given me a shout out. I won't even bring up their names right now. And I I kind of feel like, oh, shit, like. I don't know, I, I don't need the shout out. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. I'm just trying to help because I know YouTube's fucking system is broken as shit. And I, I've been on that end. <clears throat> I've been over here. And I'm looking at my channel with 116 strikes and I'm like, I'm sitting here like literally just in the dark, just like, oh no, what the fuck am I going to do? And then next thing I know, I'm, I'm creating all these counter notifications and YouTube rejects them. I finally create the perfect template to send in and I just send them all in. And they, I tell them like, listen, if you don't forward them. You're breaking your own DMCA copyright laws. I've done enough research now that I know the laws of your own company. So if you do not forward them to the claimant, then you are going to be held reliable for someone falsely claiming my content when it is protected by fair use. As soon as you say that, everything is forwarded. That's how I save my channel. And now I'm able to help people by giving, I, I give them the template. I just, I copy and paste the template. That's all I do. I send them. I send them the template. I say, put these on your counter notifications. Uh, message copyright at youtube.com and then also hit them up on Twitter at Team YouTube, and hit them three times at once because you're dealing with robots. You're dealing with AI now. They laid off like a third of their fucking third of their staff. What's up, Eastside Monster? Can you still get a copyright? Wait, can you still get copyright claimed if it's not on YouTube? What if you post on YouTube, you can get copyright claims for anything. I mean, you can have a baby crying in the background. YouTube's like, ah, oh, baby crying in the background. That's owned by so-and-so records. Who owns that sound? It's like, bitch, that's my baby crying in the background. What you mean? I own that baby. I put in the work for that baby. You know what I'm saying? My stroke game was on point. Don't take credit for that, YouTube. I've had that happen to several people. I'm like, what the fuck? Information should be free. Yeah. Like, look, 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 look. Look at it like this. <clears throat> I'm not trying to be morbid or, like, make this sad or nothing. But, dude, we all don't live forever. I'm not going to live forever. 
one day my channel, I'll, I won't be here, right? And then hopefully people can go back and enjoy watching music with me. Because what I do is real raw reactions. I'm not mansplaining. I'm not over explaining videos. I'm pointing out stuff that I enjoy. And then I'll explain a few things that I think are cool about the writing or whatever. But I'm not going to get into like the heavy breakdowns because I'm there to just enjoy with everybody. So when I'm gone, hopefully someone takes over my channel and somehow lets YouTube. I think YouTube like takes your channel down if it's like not really active for a while. Um, hopefully someone takes over and they can keep the videos up and people can watch them and feel inspired or stumble across this random, you know, people watch random episodes of these uh, insomniac nights and they, they hear a conversation like this and they're like, damn, like, I'd rather have someone be like, yo, I, I respected that dude than to be like the biggest star on YouTube, but just wishy-washy. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 uh, I take the respect and moral route over being wishy-washy and uh, create drama any day because that's just unhealthy. I, I can't live like that, man. So, uh, yeah, this is who I am to a, to, a, to a fault. So hopefully when I am gone, people just enjoy the content and the fucking music and, you know, the, the, the crazy fucking shit that happens when I hear something nasty and I'm like, God damn. That's what I hope. That'd be cool. Rule of YouTube, you can't please everybody. Rule of life, you can't please everybody. What happened? Your cousin from Boston? What's up, Donald? How you doing, my friend? Apparently, YouTube have said if you die, your channel will remain. However, they will take them in active channels if there's nothing on them. Okay, that makes sense. I shouted you out one time in one of your videos, calling you a mentor and pillars of your community and being a good guy. Thank you, uh, Nifred. I appreciate that. I think I might remember that comment. Um, but I read so many of them throughout the day, and I try to respond back as much as I can. But, like, here's, here's one thing, too, that gets hard, man. And, like, I'm not going to mention any names, but when people, like, leave me comments, it, it fucks some people up. People who aren't used to, like, like, nobody's supposed to have 2 million people, 3 million people, 4 million people messaging, messaging them or with eyes on them every day. But that's what you chose, right? They read these comments and they let these fucking comments get to them and they don't realize that some of these people are just having shit days and they're taking it out on you. So um, I don't, I used to go through every fucking comment and now I don't because I've just, people ruined it. Um, there were sometimes I'd be having a bad day. I'd read a comment about me and I'd be like, what the fuck? I don't even know who you are, man. <laughs> like, why are you attacking me? I hope your day gets better, but I don't even have the energy to respond. So now you'll see me like throw hearts or just like say something short. Like I used to type out like full fucking paragraphs and be more like interactive, but it's it's more people now and it's also more trolls. So I kind of got to like protect that fucking space, which sucks, but it's just a part of the game, I guess. Like here's an example. Like when I talk to Harry Mack and how long it takes for him to get back, I understand now. Because it happens to me when I'm talking to so many people and then somebody messages me and say, like, I'm in the middle of something. I don't respond right there on the spot. I will forget. And then, like, one day, three months later, I'll be going through comments like on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot to respond back to dude. And I feel like an asshole. You know, so I, I understand, like, how it starts to get. And I'm only I think I think on, like, Instagram, I only have, like, uh. 7,000 subscribers, something like that. I don't know. But I also got a lot of people who don't, aren't even subscribed to me just messaging me. So, yeah. Blowing kisses back at Road Ragers really gets them going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I've seen some crazy. I've seen some crazy. Dude, one time I was, uh, story time with Cliff. Cliff, story time. I was driving on, two, I think I was driving on 55. 294 to 55 North, 55 North. Uh, it, it could take you into the city depending on where you're coming from. I was actually going into the city when I was on the south side of Chicago, like the far south side. In front of me, I had these two cars. They, they were throwing like bottles of water. It was the middle of the summer. They had the windows rolled down. They were throwing bottles of water. 
I mean, one dude threw like a fucking thing of food at the car. Like it was getting crazy. And I'm watching this happen. And I'm like behind them, like driving, like not slow, but going like, they're going like 60 miles an hour. I'm going like 50, just to like 55, 60, just to keep up and like watch what's happening. Next thing I know, like it went from like water sprites and food being thrown at each other to like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. To all of a sudden just do, 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 do cars shooting each other up but i'm like holy shit you gotta slam on your brakes you gotta fucking instantly get off as soon as you can oh man it's it's fucking crazy dude people people get a little bit too crazy with that road rage shit yeah that's why like in chicago you don't want to mess around somebody somebody does something or something yeah acts weird just i suggest you just be the bigger man and just walk away i mean unless you're carrying and you want to deal with that but it's it's not even worth it What's good, uh, Piffle? How you doing? You're only human. Popcorn and joint ready, go. Story time. Dakota said that's how I am on Snapchat. Like, how am I supposed to respond back to nearly a thousand people? Yeah, but that's what you asked for, though, Dakota. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gave your information out like that, you know, or however you accumulated that many people following you, and then it's going to be tough to keep up, you know? But I made a promise to my subscribers. I always say, if you message me, I'll do my best to get back to you right away. And you've always got me as a friend if you're going through some shit. So I, I, I have to live up to that. You know, fortunately, hopefully for you, you don't have to. Um, but I make it a thing to get back. Now, if somebody like messages me and sends me song requests, I just I, I delete it because I've told people millions of times now, like song requests stay for YouTube. Instagram, that's for if you want to say what's up or if you're going through some shit you need someone to talk to. That's cool. But song requests, they, they help out my algorithm, and that's where I go to find what I'm watching next. It's 10 in the morning in the UK. Yeah, it's almost 5 a.m. my time. I smoked that bowl already? Holy shit. I am a smoke machine. We got to pack up another one, ladies and gentlemen. We can't end on this note. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know, that, that would have been the perfect time to kind of leave you with a little bit of music while I grab some tools here. But, uh, put this on really quick. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but a little soft music in the background if you can. Can you guys hear that or no? Guys hear it? Not too loud though, right? Like softer, like on the soft side. Okay, good. I just use a pinch hitter. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack a little bowl really quick and I'll smoke this with you before I uh, try to roll out of here. I gotta try to get a little bit of sleep. Yeah, I can hear a cliff beast. It's just nice. It's good. Vibing at work, 5 a.m. here for me. Who we'll go, Cliff? What's up, JD? How you doing? You should check out the Native Howl. Mercy featuring Lizzie Hale. Again, leave them all in my uh, videos. Intermission. Usually this shit helps me sleep, but... It's not working, man. So you guys, you guys prefer when someone's talking to have something like this playing in the background? That's interesting to me. <laughs> it said no. Okay. 
<laughs> that was just funny. The big no. Turn that shit the fuck off. Okay, well, hey, everyone was saying it sounded good. Shit, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <clears throat> that was funny. Yeah, I, I see. Th this is why Kat and I are best friends and why she's my admin because she will straight up tell me when something's got to go. She'll tell me, like, you, you, you can't have people around you just being like yes people. You got to have people that are just. They'll tell you off. <laughs> Cat will be quick. If I'm, if I'm wrong, Cat's going to tell you I'm wrong. I love that. She's a sweetheart, but she's going to, she's going to instantly jump in like, Hey, Hey, what you doing over there? Checking in, checking in on you. Don't make me just, I'll get spicy. That's what she calls it. She gets spicy. LKC said Cat is hot when she says no. Oh, 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 oh. We got a flame development here from LKC and Cat. Oh, Cursey said Cliff B. This is always messaging me back when I need to have a little chat slash rant. Yeah, of course. And like you, Day said, always go to Discord as well. We got a fucking dope ass community, man. You should put uh, Lakey inspired because he's he's good and he's copyright free. Yeah, Trisha, honestly, I don't even risk it unless I know the artist myself. I don't. Even when I know the artist myself, it doesn't mean I'm going to beat distribution. Dude, <laughs> I was listening the other day to uh, fucking Joe Rogan's podcast. He's over here complaining because... This motherfucker can't play YouTube. He, he, he can't listen to YouTube shit anymore. They cannot play a single song off YouTube. And the whole time I was listening to like Parks and Recreation and they were just not bitching, but they were like, dude, what the fuck, YouTube? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I want to play somebody in chess, though. I'm high as shit. And I want to play somebody in chess. I feel like I'd be a rating of like fucking... 800 right now because I'm high as a fucking kite. Somebody want to gently caress me and whoop my ass in chess? Straight up said chess. Hold on. Straight up. What, what, what's your elo? What's your elo though? What's your rating? If it's too high, I'm, I just... I play I'm only a thousand though. Andrew, that's kind of probably where I'm at right now. Around 11.50 now. All right, so I guess we could play. Hold up. Let me go make a fake account. Anybody want to watch me get my ass whooped in chess? Because I'm high as shit. Normally, I'm ranked around like 1,600. 15 to 1,600. But I am fucked up. I'm fucked up. All right. We can watch you play chess. I mean, you don't have to. If nobody wants to watch it, fuck it. Yes, it'll be fun. Dude, last time I was playing, I missed a fork. I didn't even see it. And, and somebody called it out in the chat. They were like, Cliff, what are you doing? Like, move your rook. And I was like, what? Move the rook? And I instantly look and I see the fork. And I'm like, I am an idiot. When I'm high, dude, I fuck up everything. This is why I don't even do reactions like this. Where do you play? I'm just going to make a fucking... I'm going to go to chess.com and I'm going to make a fake account. Just a burner account. I mean, I have other accounts, but I'm obviously not going to use those. Uh, hold on. Play online. Oh, shit. Hold up. Yeah, I'm just a guest right now. What, what happened? What happened with this shit? Hold on. First off, I got to figure out how this is going to look. Burner account high chest bars. <laughs> See, I cat cat's got to stop hanging around too much listening to all this fire music. Uh, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a burner account on, just on chess.com. So what I'm gonna do is this though, uh, for my display. Whoa, that's not the button for display. We're gonna move this probably a little bit over this way. Um, I don't know if I want to. It's gonna look a little little distorted with. It, no, I don't like that either. If I stretch it like this, that's gonna look a little weird, but Nah, we'll keep it we'll keep it where it's supposed to be. Fuck it. 
That's fine. That should be good enough. I'll play somebody on here in some chess. Hold on. I'll get my ass whooped, but again, I don't care, dude. Failure. Learn how to fail, like I guess so. All right. So let's see what's going on here. I play Blitz, guys. We're not going to play like an hour long game, just five minutes. That's it. You have five minutes. What's up, Skindred? How you doing? Um, actually, Isma asked, uh, somebody just asked me recently if I'm going to check out the uh, producer category. Probably. It just takes me a while to get, um, takes me a while to, to, to get to the, to the videos, man. I have so much content to get to. I honestly, I can't keep up. I'm trying my best. All right, five minutes is fine. All right, looks like I'm facing. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be facing. Oh, hold on. All right, all right. This is this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, straight up. Wait up a second. Andrew's been Andrew. I think Andrew had dibs first. So Andrew saying he could put up a game on Discord actually. Uh okay. If you want, that's fine. Put up a game on Discord then. So straight up, let me go play uh, Andrew really quick, and then I'll play you. All right? Fair? I'll play two games. And I'll get my ass absolutely whooped right now because I am fucking high off my ass, dude. I walk into my kitchen really quick, and all you hear is I come back, and I just got powdered donuts all over my face, and I'm like, woo! <laughs> Let's get Five minutes blitz game, link in chat, disc in chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you mean, I, hold on. Where's Discord at? There it is. I don't even know how to work this shit still. All right, am I in my own chat box, chat room right now? I'm not. All right, let me get my chat room. All right. The fuck? All right, where are you at, Andrew? Today, 5.08 a.m.? Okay, I see you, Kat. I see you. Thank you for uh, Ric Flair with the nose hairs. Ooh, bars. I have no nose hairs right now. What are we talking about? Cleaned up. <laughs> All right, so let me see this. So uh, five minutes. Blitz, five minutes. Um, play a friend. Wait, what's the custom? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I don't want to sign up. Play a friend. I got to sign up for full access. Motherfucker Jones. All right. Uh, let's put beginner. That's fine. Uh, hold on. I got to I gotta hide this really quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. I got to fill this shit out. Do you see how red my eyes are? I'm in trouble. Um, oh, that one's... Uh, I don't know if I trust that email address either. What email address should I use? Username Cliff Beats. Cliff Beats in the streets. Standard's fine. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we we we, we can save the password. Let's continue. Send an email invite. What the fuck? Send chest to someone new later. Let's do that later. No, no, thank you. I'm not paying for shit. Okay. I'm setting this up, guys. So now you can see where the fuck I'm at. And straight up, uh, the straight up sent me one. Who is this? Is this straight up? Oh, Andrew. Okay, Andrew sent me one. Let me see if I can just jump in here. How the fuck do I press? How do I just play? Open in browser. Yes. There's a site. Hold on. Why is it just showing me this, though? What the fuck is this? Who the fuck is that guy? Uh, guys, I'm just getting this right now. What the fuck is this? I'm just getting this weird. 
thing. Uh, it's just showing me a picture of chess. It's not showing me the actual game here. So I don't know what you sent me. You sent like a picture, guys. Fucking close, damn it. Where's my Discord at? What in the fuck? There we go. I don't even know if this is the right... It doesn't look like a link. No, click the link. What link? Open in browser, there's no link. What are you talking about? Where do you see a link? Oh. Hold on, I don't want you guys to see my... Sorry, I gotta be careful with the information because people are fucking crazy. Oh, we got a game. We got a game started. All right. Where we at? Oh, hey, 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 hey. You got to give me a little bit of time here. He's, he's trying to beat me on time. He's already trying to press me on time. I got to set this up. All right. So what are you coming at me with right now? This looks weird as fuck. I'll tell you that. All right, my guy. What you trying to do here? Let's maybe play a little bit weird. Can you guys see the game? Hold on. Let me make sure they can see the game. You guys should be able to see the game. I cannot see the chat box. So you're getting a little bit of extra time here, Andrew. There you go. You better be able to beat me with this little extra time. All right. Sorry, I had to set that up. All right. So I kind of see what you're trying to set up here. Uh, I really don't care, to be honest with you. So we'll just... I'm starving, dude. I smoke so much weed. I am high as a fucking pipe, dude. Mmm. 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 You don't... Oh, you gonna leave me with a little something, something to work with here, huh? Now, let's get this set up. Let's get this set up the right way. My wrist is killing me. Who you guys got, Andrew? Kick that back. Kick that back. That's what I thought. You guys got Andrew or you got Cliff Beats? Yep, that's what I figured, my boy. All right, so you're nice in castles. You're, you're feeling protected right now. I see you. you. You feel good. You feel good about yourself. You're feeling protected. Um, I'm thinking about I'm going to have to go on a little bit of a risk here. I got to get make things a little bit spicy. This might be my downfall, though. But I got to make things spicy. Let's, let's see how he wants to play this one out. Okay, I mean, that's just going to open that square for you. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Keep it open for you. Let's get that open. I want to. I want to. I want to fuck up that that uh that foundation you built over there. Oh, that ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't, you ain't scaring nobody. That one. Okay, that's I mean, I respect it. What level did you say you are? You lying to me? This man's over here lying to me. All right. Uh, let's do it like this. My man's over here lying to me. He said he's a 10. What, 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 what level did he say he was? Where's the time at? Where's the timer? I'm 258. Okay, I'm, I'm a little behind. I'm over here getting confused. Retro game streamer? No, 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 no. I'm not good enough at this. I, I had two plans. He already kind of put the kibosh on him.
I'm not going to be left with much of a choice here. Put me in a pickle, Rick. All right. Let's, uh, actually, let's keep it close for right now. I got a, I got a different idea. Ooh, you just gave me an idea. You gave me a little, a little something, something, something to work with. A little something to work with. I'm not seeing the mooks. I'm like, shit. Okay, you're, you're closing me off then. All right. You're just going to close me off like that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The girl talking to you all night, and then you just pull a move like that. You just take everything away, everything they ever dreamt of. Uh, I'm going to run out of time here. All right. I don't want to do this. I do not want to double stack at all. But I got to move these pawns up. I got to move these pawns up. It's not even a question. Got to do it. All right. I'm running out of time. No more talking. No more talking. I'm talking too much. Come on. What? What? What are you setting up for? All right, focus, Cliff. I need some cocaine. I knew that was coming. That's okay. I don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Not want to do it. Yeah, I'm only at 10,000. This guy's a liar. Where's his rank? I don't see it. You're high. You got diamonds and shit in your name. You're lying to me. The foolery. All right, we need to get this game moving here. Good day, Joel. I do it like this. I guess ugly, sloppy. I'm gonna run out of time because I talk too much. I gotta play fast now. Sorry, you're gonna you're gonna see me fucking hyper focused. He all the time in the world. He can sit here for an hour. Okay. That's probably not the best idea, but that's fine. You do you, boo-boo. Bring to an end game. Let's go. I already see where you're at with this. I'm going to lose it anyway because I got no time. Is that how you want to straighten them out? Okay, that's fine. You do you. You do what you got to do. <sighs> You're really going to do this shit right now.
It's like a pre-move. What the fuck? Good game, buddy. Good game. I got my ass whooped almost. You fucking, you stopped me like three times. You stopped me three times. I was trying to set something up. All right. Next, I got up. Straight up. I'm playing straight up. I got to play. Oh, okay. There you are. Straight up is next. Dude, I missed so many moves there, and I'm fucking high as shit. All right. That's all good. Who's falling for the P. Diddy this morning? What do you mean, who's falling? You want me to be white? Oh, I got to wait for opponent. Ten minutes. Ten minutes ain't right. This ain't right. Ain't playing for 10 minutes. Send me another one. Who, who, was, uh, who, was, who was the other person that sent me one? Straight up. Straight up. You said you wanted a game. Clips on the warpath. I got a peace out. Good luck sleeping. Yeah, fuck. And then I was an angel of death. Let's get it, man. Uh, who's feeling like P. Diddy this morning? Haha, uh -huh, but he had a long night. I don't know. I think he's chilling off of the in a beach somewhere far away from the states. I'm off to get more copyright claims. Yeah, I don't need to play any more chess. It was all good. It was fun. Lied to me about being a fucking level one thousand though. I know how a level one thousand plays. So don't play with me here. I don't know how I know how level one thousand plays. I seen you trying to set up forks. I seen you trying to fucking mess me up. You messed up three of my plans to go on attack. And I couldn't do nothing besides play defensive chess. Middle game, you fucked me up. The lies. The lies and deceit. I got receipts for the lies and deceit. All right. I'm, I'm overdue for a loss here. Online right now, I'm 2 0. So this has been bad. I've been having horrible luck, guys. So let's go. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I should probably have some music playing right now, to be honest with you. I should have some Harry Mack on the background. Fuck. Okay. Okay. I mean, I see you. Question is, is do you see me? Uh, I don't like that actually. I seen that coming a mile away. It's fine. That's completely fine. Um, all right. You're trying to do some some shit. I'm trying to do some shit right now. I see you. Do I really even want to bother right now? Or do I just want to get a little dirty grimy over here? All right, let's do it like this. Let's set up. Let's set up the right way. You're in a castle. I see you. I'll do the same thing right now. Let's go. Okay, so you're out to take me out there. I see you. Oh, just over here a little bit just in case you try to get a little frisky on me All right, that's fine <clears throat> i need some harry mack in my life or something Dark light, what happened? Dark light! Oh shit, I didn't see that at all. Whoops. Oopsie. Um, yeah, I don't like that at all, actually. Not one bit. Um, I kind of put myself in a bit of a predicament here. No bueno. All right, dude. Take it easy. Everybody over here. Every, what's everyone's real ELO? Everyone's lying to me. House full of lies, I tell you. Everyone's real ELO is some bullshit. Let's do it like this. 
I do want you out of here. But I think I'd rather do it this. No, let's do it. On the road again, heading down to Nashville. Everybody want to come after me. I don't know why. But she a cutie pie. Okay, that was the right move. Put me in a bit of a pickle, Dick. Put me in a bit of a pickle, Dick. Pickle Rick, pickle Dick. Next time I'm on the open road. Next time I'm on the open road. Okay, so you were waiting for me to do that, I see. Really? Wow, you're shady. You're shysty. You're shady shysty. You got me good, you son of a bitch. Because I can't... Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I got to move over here. Wow. Well played. Well played. I got lied to. I got lied to and hustled. By everybody out here. Liars just trying to get me on a game just to fucking hustle me. Oh, that's frustrating. <laughs> your e your elo's not eleven hundred. That's a bull face lie, Cotton. Lied to me. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm in a spot here and I don't like it at all. Just toying with me. That's what you're doing at this point. You're just fucking toying with me. Hold on now. Don't get stupid. You had the game in the back. Hmm. Are you just letting the time drain out a little bit? Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Now I'm in some real trouble. Can't pre move. How, how do you pre move on here? I can't pre move.
Oh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Ah! Good game, my friend. Good game. I don't lie about these ELOs of the fucking 1100. Lies upon lies and deceit. I would have had that game. I was coming back at the end. But I ran low on time. I was talking to the chat and shit. It's all good, though. I appreciate you guys following with me. You gotta lose. You gotta lose. You gotta come back from the fire defeat. Good game straight up. No, you won. You won fair and square. I feel like you gave me that night on accident at the end, or you gave it to me on purpose. That was a little awkward, but yeah, no, you 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 did a good job. You fucking blocked off anything I was planning. You've seen everything. So nothing I could really do. I had to play defensive. The middle game got ugly. I made a few uh a few misclicks and I can't. I'm so used to being able to like pre-click. I it fucked me up. But good game. You beat me straight up, GG. Straight up, you beat me straight up. I appreciate it. I had to put my knight there. You would have took the rook down. Yeah, I know. I know. You, we, yeah, we, 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 were, we were reading each other. And I seen you made the one mistake. And I was like, what are you doing here, bud? I, I, I would. I, there was two ways I could have played it. I should have probably played it the other way. But if you would have caught it, you would you probably would have caught it. And I wouldn't have got the checkmate. So it didn't matter. That's why I was like, I have to. I, I'm fucked on time. If I could pre-move, I probably could have stretched out like the last five seconds. But I couldn't do shit. Good game. It was a good game. It was fun, man. I missed this shit. Imagine Cliff doing a chess reaction slash breakdown later just for laughs. No, that was terrible. That was a terrible display of chess, dude. So many fucking uh, uh there's a lot of miss, a lot of uh, missed opportunities and shit. But it was it was fun. It was fun to hang out with everybody, man. Um, next up, guess the filling of Cliff's hot pocket. <laughs> Uh, do you play word games? I fucking love word games, Trisha. I love word games. Word games are like one of my favorites. Uh, me and my girl, we play on our iPhones all the time. We'll play uh, those word hunts and shit. Not word hunt. You know what I'm saying? Where you like, uh, you have to like find the words and then circle them and stuff like that. They're really fun, man. First time Eclipse Live without his M videos. Yeah, man. Um, of course, Eminem's going to have some more videos dropping soon. I can't wait for that fucking album. Asking a writer if they enjoy word games. <laughs> I love word games. I was panicking at the end because the table's turning. And I was like, fuck. Nah, I get it. I've seen the time. I wish I could fucking pre-click. I don't know. Those, those settings must be turned off for me. Go to sleep. Thank you, Cliff, for the tips and help on the channel. You're the man. You know what? <clears throat> Nifred, I think you're right. And if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm sorry. But... I think you're right. I think it's time. Um, I think it's time for me to get some sleep. You got to remember, I'm sleep deprived and I'm high as a kite. So, uh, yeah, go take care of yourselves. I love you. Thanks for hanging. Just a random fucking, just a random stream, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging with me. You guys will see me post a few uh, pieces of content during the day, and then we'll do the live stream at 6 p.m. Be there. I'll tell you this right now. Since the last one lagged out, everyone is ready and on deck for donation requests. So be there as fast as you can. I'm telling you now. I'm warning you. Be there as fast as you can. I love you guys. Be safe. And don't ever pull a ditty. <laughs> don't ever pull a ditty. I'm out of here, guys. Be safe. Thanks for hanging with me. Thank you for the chess games, too, gentlemen. Uh, did good. You whooped my ass. I'm out of here.